Hello everybody out there watching on YouTube and welcome to the 12th race of Season 7 of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series. I am Levi McIntyre, the voice of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Mountain Dew 400 at good old Darlington Raceway, the Lady in Black, as we're getting set for 40 laps of racing because yes, this is the 400 miler, the Southern 500 won't be happening until 12 races from now. But regardless, we're here at Darlington for the first of second, uh, first of second, first of two times this season. But I'm not alone for this. Please welcome, as usual, because he likes to stalk me in my sleep, Mr. Rafael Leduc. You say that, yeah, you're the guy that has the pic a picture of a porn star on your fucking desktop when she's married and has kids. So, yeah, I'm the guy that's a stalker. Anyways, I'm glad to be here in this shitty-ass hellhole known as Darlington. There ain't even a fucking 7-Eleven in this dump, so let's get this shit going. Way to stay professional there. Um, You're welcome, goddammit. Boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into everything, here is a recap of the point standings after Talladega, in which Jessica Sheldon took the points lead back and leads currently by four points over Caleb Kilburn. And now you are seeing... What the a shocker! And now you are seeing the starting lineup for the race. As the front row, we have Jake Rogers on the pole. And I want to say that, uh, yes, he is the first driver to get multiple poles this season. Starting next to him is Chris Dollerton. So, first time this season we got a two-time pole winner. We'll see if he can go coast-to-coast coast or crash and burn in a blaze of glory. Who knows? But with that said, let's get the command to fire engines for the Mountain Dew 400 at the Lady in Black. Drivers, start your engines! So do you think Jefferson's a pole dancer since he has so many poles? He might. <laughs> he might be, I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> Damn it, Ledoux, I swear to God. But, uh, hey. but beside the we're point... Recording, we're, 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 we are recording this on New Year's Eve. We can at least have a little bit of fun. Fair. That is, that is fair. And this is coming out New Year's Day. But yes, we are recording on New Year's Eve. So we're recording in 2019, but this video won't be released until 2020. Okay, Boomer. Scrub off. Anyways, so... The rest of the top five in the starting lineup, yeah, you see in the second row there is Jay Jefferson and Matt McIntyre, who have both won a race this season. And I'll just mention row three because it's uh, young motorsports teammates, Rafael LaDuc and Benjamin Miles. In fact, speaking of Benjamin Miles, it has been announced that he will actually be stepping away from the Marvel Studios Cup Series for Season 8. Maybe he'll return in Season 9. Maybe. We'll see. The pace car's in pit road, ladies and gentlemen. Boogity, 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 let's go. Race. Okay, Ricardo Rodriguez. And they are off, hanging to turn one, side by side so far, the 87, the 83. They're side by side, now the 87 has a little bit of a lead, and here comes the five, right next to the 83. As they're heading down the back stretch, A7 still has a good lead. The 22 now moved down from from where he was and is now in front of his teammate, the 62, Rafael LeDuc. And they're heading to the line, and I believe that's going to be the 87 that led that. Jay Jefferson leads it. You mean Jeff Rogers? <laughs> ah, shut up. Jay Jefferson's <laughs> leading now. He's in the five. You were close, but no cigar. Anyways, oh boy, they're about to go three wide, possibly, for the lead. Looked like Benjamin... Oh, there they go! Hard hit for Jay Jefferson, and Miles back up the track! Jesse Turner, Matt McIntyre, Caleb Kilburn, second in points in there. But somehow... We got some spinning cars, but somehow a lot of the drivers got through with minimal damage. Though a few of the horseman racing drivers actually got some hood damage. But that was a hard, hard hit for Jay Jefferson. I thought something was about to give when they decided to go three wide off turn four for the lead. James Shelley was in it. Same with 
Matt McIntyre. And yes, Jay Jefferson's now out of the race as he just teleported to the garage. But Rafael Duke actually barely managed to avoid everything and get the lead. That's what we call a talent, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but the rest of the field's still trying to get up to the 62, and there's still a bit of a scoring issue as... Uh, Oh, some damage for Jonathan Zorlane. His day is done. Jordan Forbes, same thing. Ryan Acosta, I don't know if he got damage. Alyssa Drayson was in it. Seth Cole. Or I don't know, maybe some of these drivers might be coming to pit road to, talk, to uh, get some strategy going. I don't know. But Zachary Fitzwater, third in points. He was involved. Cole Baker, also involved. Even Joshua Scully. So the big one has struck... At the beginning here at Darlington, I figured it was going to be crazy, but not this crazy. But now it looks like I, the scoring I, has sorted itself out, so. I guess I jinxed Jay Jefferson when I mentioned him when he wasn't leading. <laughs> Perhaps you did, but regardless, Rafael Duke is the current race leader, so let's take a look and see what brought the caution out for the first time tonight here at Darlington. So he's still, ladies and gentlemen, this is here is what happens. You call it the Logano. This is what happens when you drive the 22 for a good team and your talent runs out like your gas. You fucking cause Rex. <laughs> As LaDuke really meant to say. So, yeah, they were <laughs> attempting three wide off of turn four for the lead, and it just didn't work. Benjamin Miles got into Jay Jefferson, turned him hard into the inside wall, and then slides back up the track, causing the big one to happen as he slammed into Jesse Turner, who then slammed into Matt McIntyre. And everybody's trying to find some room to get around, but I think the extra stuff that happens with this incident happens towards the back as everybody starts to stack up a little bit as they notice... The wreck happening up ahead in turn one, and then just some drivers end up running into one another, as you see uh, quite a few of them actually did. So probably going to have about 60% of the field still left to run up to speed. What in the world? James Shelley went up in the air, and Zachary Fitzwater actually went underneath him for a second, but... Yeah, some crazy chaos already here at Darlington as a uh, wreck happening with the leaders going awry and somehow, some way, and where might act okay, never mind actually. I thought we were gonna see before the start finish line a little fight for the lead, but I guess Jake Rogers was leading, but oh, him and Dollarton decided to come down Pit Road. That's what happened. I was trying to figure out yeah. what was going on with the scoring, but now we know why. But on the restart, Rafael LaDuke will be your leader. Let's take you to the restart here at Darlington. Well, after that first caution, three cars definitely out of the race. Jay Jefferson, Hannah Klein, and Jonathan Zorlane. We got a few drivers a uh, lap or two down that are still going to try and continue, but they're probably going to be off the pace, so... We could end up dealing with them as the race goes along. But some pit strategy, some people came in the pit road, but most of the field didn't. Rafael Duke is your leader. Second, DJ Curtis. Third, Julia Katrine. Fourth, Cole Deaver. Fifth, Michael Norman. Sixth is Clint Spillman. Seventh, Charles Sanford. Eighth, Rob Evans. Ninth, Melissa Alexander. Tenth, Carson Gump. Eleventh is Henry Sanford. Twelfth, Kyle Matthews. Thirteenth, Joey Parkhill. Fourteenth, Jake Rogers. 15th, Chris Dollerton, 16th, James Qualls, 17th, Ricky Caraman, 18th, Cody Lamas, 19th, Zach Rogers, 20th, Artur Castanha. 21st, Dylan Jacobs, 22nd, Benjamin Miles, 23rd, Dylan Young, 24th, Jessica Shelton, 25th, Caleb Kilburn, 26th is Johnny Gardner, 27th, Cole Baker, 28th, Joshua Sakuli, 29th, Jesse Turner, 30th, Alyssa Drayson. Then the rest of the field is Ryan Acosta, Seth Cole, Rafael Fireblade, Jordan Forbes, Zachary Fitzwater, James Shelley, and Matt McIntyre. Green flag back out, and Rafael Adu got a great jump on that restart. That's that four power, baby. Driving that fusion like no one else ever has. Fuck you, Carl Edwards. Anyways, uh, battle on for second. Julia Katrine takes the position away from DJ Curtis, but left the bottom open for Cole Deaver to make a move for that spot. 
And they're that starting. That is dropping quickly. And now here comes also Clint Spillman, I believe, at the 60 to walk car. Yeah, and Clint Spillman has been a driver in desperation to get a good finish. Dead last in points and an average finish of about 30 seconds. So he's just not caught a break here in Season 7 for his rookie season. But right now running top five, which is pretty good for himself. So we'll see how things play out for Clint Spillman. A uh, few drivers back into pit road. James Qualls, Matt McIntyre. Perhaps to f fix some uh, damage. Same with Zachary Fitzwater. Back up at the yeah, front, Leduc did. takes the lead, or still holds on to the lead. Battle for second. Charles Sanford now up to second. And he's coming off of a great second place finish at Talladega, which has been his best finish since winning the Daytona 500, and now is going for the lead himself. Well, it's going to be interesting. Who's going to get it here into turn one? And now off of turn two, Rob Evans takes second away from Rafael Leduc, but Leduc falls comfortably in line behind Rob Evans, and now trying to run a lower line than Rob to get perhaps some more air to the front end to try and make a run for not only second, but to get the lead back as the top three start to kind of break away from everyone else, but they will have slow cars to deal with. Rafael Fireblade with no hood going only 155 miles an hour. And he's going to hold up uh, Cole Deaver and company, so that will cost them a little bit of time. Actually, a oh, lot man. of bit of time. Oh, damn, yeah, now is that front group still splitting up as Sanford, Bob Evans, and and myself <laughs> now leading, now, now ahead. <laughs> Coke Vanilla and Bob Evans, ladies and gentlemen, is a great combination. And the sponsors of tonight's broadcast of the Marvel Studios Cup Series. Make sure to get yourself some Coca-Cola vanilla because no one else drinks that crap. And get yourself some Bob Evans because I'm Canadian and I heard it's actually pretty good. It is. <laughs> but now they've caught Zachary Fitzwater who's slow. Charles Sanford getting held up for now. Rob Evans trying to run the bottom to take the lead for himself. But Fitzwater's actually holding up both lanes. Now he finally lets the bottom lane go. As the top six well, is going to look, look like to be the ones to battle it out potentially all race long. So everyone from Rob Evans back to Carson Gum, currently in the top yeah. six. Now Sanford's still stuck behind that twelve. I mean, the twelve needs some uh, needs a nice energy drink to get his uh, to get his ass moving. At the bare minimum, he's not nearly as slow as Raphael Fireblade is. Raphael Fireblade, the fastest I saw him go was like one fifty-seven. So he's basically out here for his Sunday drive. Essentially, Caleb Kilburn, not that much better. Fastest I see him going, 168. And he sustained big damage from that caution as well. Actually, all of these drivers running in this little group of cars back here are either damaged or just lost the main group just of cars. Lost. No, they're just lost. They they, they, they they thought this was like sprint cars and they got into these cars not knowing what the fuck was going on and now they just figured they're in the stock car race. Anyways, right, uh, the top six kind of in a, was in a freight train formation, but now Melissa Alexander's going to go for second now as she takes that spot, followed behind by Julia Katrine, who's also got Carson Gum, Charles Sanford right behind her. But now they have caught Caleb Kilburn, so let's see what Kilburn does. Which line does he hold up off turn four? Looks like it's going to be the outside. So Melissa Alexander did lead that lap and is going to pull ahead even further. Rob Evans, Rafael LaDuke held up in this mess. Zachary Fitzwater it looks like he's kind of keeping up a little bit with the leaders, so he's not totally slow. But Rob Evans and Rafael LaDuke just all lost a was, ton of time. Told you, all he needed was to not energy to get going. And it's, it's it's typical, Bob Evans, so fucking greasy, it clogs you up and it slows you down. But now Rafael LaDuke trying to get away from Rob Evans as he's currently running in fifth, trying to get around Zachary Fitzwater and then perhaps try and run back down the top four right now. But you also got to wonder, because I set the pit frequency to 3x, you have to wonder for some of these drivers that did not pit under that caution, 
when would they have to come in to get some gas? Because it's starting to look like perhaps, although Rafael Fireblade holds up Carson Gum and Charles Sanford, so the top two of Julia and Melissa pull away now. See, this is this is these are talented female drivers. Suck it, Danica. <laughs> Rob Evans actually capitalized on that and managed to get up to third. But now we see uh, the drivers from the sixth position on back starting to reel in fourth and fifth right now. Look at the run Chris Dollarton got moving to the bottom off turn two. And he's going to gain quite a few positions as a result. Although, just as I thought, pit stops are happening. So it looks like most likely a one-stop race, but it could be two depending on what happens. And LaDuke's actually already in pit road, so he sacrificed the top five spot to come into pit road, at least for the time being. As I'm looking around to see where the leader is, and according to scoring, Charles Sanford is the leader? Trying to find him. There he is, and now he pulls down the pit road, but Dollarton stays out, and he's going to be the leader now. <clears throat> Let's see if he doesn't come in on the second wave, on the maybe a second wave of pit stops. You know, even though I I do wonder, didn't he? Caution. What is it? <laughs> didn't he pit during the first caution? Oh, uh, yeah, he did. So he and Jake Rogers, who are right there together, now they're coming in. So for them, too, it was a two-stop race. But for it looks like for everyone else, it's going to be a one-stop race. So I think now everybody should be good to go on fuel. So I don't think we'll have to worry about another round of pit stops. James Shelley coming in, but he's slowing off the pace. And if things cycle around properly, I believe Melissa Alexander would get the lead back. Although, let me see what's going on with everyone else. Although Dollarton, uh, according to the monitor, still leads, but I'm trying to find him in comparison to the 28. Everyone else. There they are. And it looks like four tires and gas, so it doesn't look like they're going to be able to keep the top spots. Especially because here they go, and then we actually got side-by-side -side for the lead. Julia Katrine with a run to the bottom underneath Melissa Alexander, and there's the slower car of Kyle Matthews in the way, so he's going to serve as kind of a pick for now. Well, he's going to not really get out of the way too fast, Kyle Benjamin is. Oh, I mean Kyle Matthews. <laughs> Good lord! That's Kabakazi's fault. God damn you, Dylan Jacobs, Nelson Thornhill. <laughs> anyway, so um, gonna do my best to try and do a full field rundown now that the pit stops have concluded. Julia Katrine currently is your race leader. Second is Melissa Alexander. Third is Rob Evans. Fourth is Rafael LaDuke. Fifth is Carson Gum. Sixth is Charles Sanford. Seventh, Cole Deaver. Eighth, Clint Spillman. Ninth, Henry Sanford. Tenth, DJ Curtis. Eleventh is Chris Dollarton. Twelfth, Cody Lamas. Thirteenth, Jake Rogers. Fourteenth, Dylan Jacobs. Fifteenth, Jessica Shelton. Sixteenth, Joey Parkhill. Seventeenth, Michael Norman. Eighteenth, Ricky Carman. Nineteenth, Benjamin Miles. Twentieth, Dylan Young. 21st is Johnny Gardner, 22nd is Ryan Acosta, 23rd is Alyssa Drayson, 24th Artur Castanha, 25th is Jordan Forbes, and then the last car on the lead lap in 26th is Kyle Matthews, so he's holding off the leaders really, really well. And Julia Katrine pulled off, pulled away to nearly a half a second lead now over, actually no, three and a half tenths of a second lead over Melissa Alexander, but Julia Katrine dealing with uh, lap traffic and Melissa Alexander is closing in fast. It's going to might get interesting here is lap traffic. Is it, are, aren't really in a hurry to get out of the get out of her way, so she's going to have to start maneuvering them pretty well. Now it's 13 to go here at Darlington and Julia Katrine now trying to find a way around 
Jordan Forbes to put him a lap down. I don't know if she's gonna get it or not. This he seems to be still in front of her. And now she goes to the bottom to try and make that pass on Forbes, but Melissa Alexander now right to the back bumper of the 26. I was sort of expecting her to try to go three wide with the with the other ones, but uh, Katrine actually got by Jordan Forbes, and so did Melissa Alexander. So now they move on. And Matt McIntyre came back onto the racetrack after coming to pit road again, and almost collected Jordan Forbes. I thought he was going to pull a Dylan Young. <laughs> But now uh, the leaders have caught Jesse Turner, Artur Castanha, and Alyssa Drayson. Although Jesse Turner has already been a lap down pretty much this whole race after that, <coughs> after that caution came out. But you gotta wonder, because of the leaders being stuck behind slower cars, the driver in third, Rob Evans, he's been slowly closing in on the top two. Well, caution is out! That changes everything! Oh. See, oh, points leader Jessica Shelton was in this. Oh no, what a sad turn of events. And it looked like this all happened on the front stretch, it looks like. Yeah, because I'll be able to tell from smoke. the smoke. No, it was on the back stretch, there was no smoke on the front stretch. Yeah, it was on the back stretch, but man, it looked like something crazy went down, but. Jessica Sheldon, the points leader, probably won't be the points leader after this race going into All-Star break. But a lucky break for some drivers up in the top five that were seven seconds plus back because of lap traffic. So this is going to make this uh, finish look really interesting. But Julia Katrine, still your race leader. Let's take a look at the replay to find out what in the world happened to bring out the second caution here at Darlington. Well, there may be a rivalry on our hands. Watch off of turn two. Zach Rogers sees Jessica Sheldon underneath him, but for some reason just keeps leaning on her, leaning and leaning and leaning, until finally they both snap loose, and then watch this impact. Hard into the inside wall, and that impact caused Sheldon to go airborne, but sends Zach Rogers over for a flip. As they both hit that inside wall at about 177 miles an hour, so that was a even harder impact than what we saw happen with Jay Jefferson earlier. Jake Rogers and Michael Norman do a great job to miss, but watch Joey Parkhill come through here, and just a little scrape, but nothing major, and somehow, some way, he gets by. But he's Zach Rogers, in. the amazing thing, he still continues to drive the race car after all that. I don't know if he'll be able to finish or not, but... We'll see, but Sheldon, on the other hand, her car came to a dead stop going into turn three. Let's watch this one more time, but from the TV2 camera, and just see how hard this impact was for the both of them. They're both just darting for that inside wall, and then, wham! The impact sending Sheldon up into the air with all four wheels off the ground, and then Rogers going for a crazy ride. Upside down, then Rogers sliding on his side going into turn three. Rogers took the, the, took the brunt of that one. I don't know. It seemed like because he was able to drive his car away from everything, Sheldon, I think Sheldon took it worse because after all, her car directly hit the wall. And also did come to a stop, but I feel Sheldon definitely is done for today. Rogers, on the other hand, let's find out as we're going to take you to what could be our final restart here at Darlington. Well, after that second caution, Jessica Sheldon is officially out of the race, but Zach Rogers is actually going to try and continue as he's still just one lap down, but we got 23 drivers on the lead lap but we got a couple of lap cars in between some drivers in the top 10. Julie Katrine, still your race leader. Second is Melissa Alexander. Third, Rob Evans. Fourth, Rafael LeDuc. Fifth, Carson Gum. Sixth is Charles Sanford. Seventh, Clint Spillman. Eighth, Cole Deaver. Ninth, Henry Sanford. Tenth is Chris Dollarton. Eleventh is DJ Curtis. Twelfth is Dylan Jacobs. Thirteenth 
is Cody Lamas, 14th Jake Rogers, 15th Michael Norman, 16th Joey Parkhill, 17th Benjamin Miles, 18th Ricky Carman, 19th Dylan Young, 20th Johnny Gardner. And then the final three cars on the lead lap, Ryan Acosta, Alyssa Drayson, and Artur Kastanha. Everyone else is either a lap or more down. Pace car into pit road. It's going to be five laps to go here at the line. And Julia Katrine got off to a great jump on that restart. Rob Evans immediately darting to the bottom to try and get around those lap cars, although he's got to get around Jordan Forbes. And if he can get by Forbes, he might be able to have a shot at getting to the lead. And now he goes into turn three on the bottom. So now Rob Evans finds himself in contention, possibly. Oh, Matt McIntyre into the wall. Zachary Fitzwater into the wall as well, perhaps carrying too much speed through three and four right there, but we're still clean and green. And now the top three are going to battle it out potentially for the win. Katrine, Alexander, and Evans. Julia Katrine got a little bit tight in the center of three and four right there. And we're under caution again, and I think that's going to end the race. As they just came three laps to go, I think the race is going to end under caution. Seth Cole with huge engine damage right there. And it looks like Jake Rogers Damn. was involved. Same with Benjamin Miles again. And Joey Parkhill actually got some damage. So the race is going to end under caution. And Julia Katrine, who's been on a good run streak as of late... She gets her first career win, more likely. So we're coming to two laps to go. There's no way we're going to be able to get back to racing. So sad the race ended under caution, but Julia Katrine is going to more likely get the win. But real quick, we're going to take a look to see what brought the caution out for the final time here at Darlington. So things were getting really, really dicey around mid midfield as... Jake Rogers tries to make a pass on Seth Cole, who's already a lap down, and then Raphael Fireblade tries to move up high to let them by. But Seth Cole, he's going to end up getting sandwiched in between Jake Rogers and Raphael Fireblade, and that's how this whole thing gets started. And this was a big multi-car accident. Cody Lamas was in it. Caleb Kilburn was in it. Joey Parkhill was in it as well. Benjamin Miles. Zach Rogers. Looks like Artur Kastanha, Jesse Turner, numerous drivers involved. But the one who took the worst of it was Seth Cole as his engine literally exploded. But let's take you to the final lap here at Darlington. <coughs> well, Seth Cole is officially out of the race. I don't think he's going to be bottom five, though, considering there's a couple of cars who are... Uh, four laps down, although we'll see according to score. And actually, no, the bottom five is uh, actually Raphael Fireblade is out before Seth Cole. So Seth Cole will still get points. But we're coming out of turn number four for the final time here at Darlington. And Julia Katrine out of Average Joe Enterprises in her perhaps her only season, as she'll be stepping away after season seven, gets her first career win and gets it in the Mountain Dew 400 at Darlington Raceway. As everybody's crossing the line now to complete the final lap. And I think this is the first time this season we've had a race end under caution. So it's a first for everything, I guess, this season. But congratulations to Julia Katrine. But let's look at the rest of the results. Uh, Melissa Alexander, who was solid top three driver pretty much this entire race, gets a second place run. Although I feel like if the race continued under green, she might have had a shot at it. Same with Rob Evans in the third position. He finally got around the lap traffic and was reeling in the top two like crazy, but because that caution came out, it kind of messed up his momentum. But still gets a great point stay in third. Same with Rafael LaDuke finishing in fourth, and then Carson Gum finishing out in fifth. Uh, Clint Spillman finally, after so many races of trying, finally gets a good run, gets a sixth-place finish. Cole Deaver with a solid performance in 7th. Charles Sanford gets back-to-back -back good runs, finishing in 8th. Henry Sanford in ninth, 
And then rounding out the top 10 was Chris Dollarton. As you see, your top 20, the top 30, and then officially the drivers that were out of the race were Seth Cole, but he'll still be getting points. Everyone else, unfortunately, will not, and they were Raphael Fireblade, Jessica Sheldon, Jay Jefferson, Hannah Klein, and Jonathan Zorley. As you're also watching Julia Katrine do her victory burnout here at Darlington, that will do it for this race. Uh, we're actually going to take a break from points racing as this Friday, it's all-star time. What track is it going to be at? That will be a surprise, but uh, thank you, Mr. LaDuke, for stopping by the booth. It's my pleasure, and uh, it's always fun to, to get to do this, and, and uh, hopefully we'll do it again at some, time, at some other Absolutely, but until we get to All-Star break, here are your final results, rookie points and regular points heading into All-Star break, but our next points race is going to be at Kansas. But until then, this is Levi McIntyre signing off.